Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial for the STD Rapid Test Kit of Chlamydia. Today we're going to illustrate to you how the test is carried out and show you the content of the kit and explain what the different parts are. Alright, so first of all it will arrive with the instructional sheet. You'll have the mixing tube. You'll have what is called the buffer A. and the buffer B. And you'll have one swab that looks like this, and then of course, the test cassette itself. Alright, so what I'll proceed by doing is go through the test kit setup. The pouch, tear to open like this, and take the cassette out. Actually, there's one more part. Inside of the pouch, you will also find the dropper that looks like this. That's the one you'll use to draw liquid out of buffer A and buffer B, and that in turn goes into the central well. We're going to show you how everything is carried out. Alright, so we've got all the parts, the dropper, the test cassette, the buffer A and the buffer B, the one swab and the mixing tube. That's all we need. Alright, so what I'll proceed by doing is to open the package of the swab. I'll tear that open like this. That's the one we'll use for the test. Now, as I'm going to illustrate to you with a couple of photos later, on the procedure for both males and females are the same. I'll show you that in detail later on. What I'll start off by doing is to remove the cap from the mixing tube. And I'll take buffer A, open the cap, and I'll take eight or nine drops of buffer A out of the container. I'll just cap the tube first and put that back. OK, so I'll insert eight to nine drops here into the mixing bowl. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, and we're done with that. The next part, this is where we really have to pay attention to do this correctly. Now, for the male patient, he'll use the swab to collect the specimen. What you basically do is, as I'm going to illustrate to you now with this photo, is that you insert the swab into the urethra of the penis. That is the opening of the penis, and you let it stay in there for about 30 seconds. What you do is that you carefully twitch the swab just to dislodge the epithelial cells inside of the urethra wall. Then you take it out. Now, for the female patient, you use the second swab and insert it into the vaginal opening, and it's the same procedure here. You use the swab to dislodge the epithelial cells inside of the vaginal tract. Now, for both males and females, you have to be very careful that you don't hit any external surfaces when you take it out. That is, so that you don't contaminate the specimen. I have collected my own specimen. It wouldn't be appropriate for you guys to see that, so I haven't put that here on YouTube. But I've collected my own specimen, and I'll now put that into the mixing bowl of the extraction tube. So I'll mix that up with buffer A like this. Now, the next step is to use buffer B. I'll make some space here. 
I'll just remove this. Let's see here. So I'll remove the cap from buffer B. I'll draw around nine drops out of buffer B. And I'll put that into the sample of, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looking good so far. Here we go. Now we're done with both buffer A and buffer B. So I'll just remove those two and make things easier. We'll still need the dropper. Now I'll let these liquids mix up. Now, when you remove the swab after you mix the liquids for a while, uh, when you remove the swab, try to squeeze the swab towards the wall of the extraction tube so that as much liquid as possible comes down like this. Great. So I'm done with the swab and I'll just dispose of that. Here we go. Next thing I'll do is I'll put the cap back on the extraction tube and I'll shake it for a little while like this. This should be enough. And now I'll use the micro pipette or the dropper to draw all of the, what you need is four drops out of this. And with four drops, that is all we need. Okay, I've got four drops now. I'm done with that. I'll put the cap back on to dispose of the mixing tube as well. So four drops is all we need. I'll insert that into the sample bowl. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's all we need. So now we have to wait about 10 minutes before the results show up. In the meanwhile, I'll explain to you on the cassette what the different parts are. As you can see here, that's a C, the control line. Now, one line shows up next to the C. That's good news. That means that the test works. And after all, that's what we want. So if one line shows up, it's a good sign. Now, if I was to be tested positive for chlamydia, then two lines would show up. One next to the T on your right side here and one next to the C. So we'll wait a little bit and we'll see how it goes down. It's also important that you do not read the results after 30 minutes. Chlamydia is a disease that cannot be left untreated. If you use our test kits and it comes out with a positive result, it is very, very, very important that you seek out professional medical advice. So we're not going to have you watch the whole thing. Um, so we're going to forward here by 10 minutes. So as you can see here, um, only one line showed up next to the C. That means that I am chlamydia negative. If you perform this test in the way I explained to you and two lines showed up, that would have meant that you had chlamydia. And as I said, you have to go and see a doctor. We have a website listed at the bottom of this tutorial video, www.stdrapidtestkits.com, and you can buy a rapid test kit for chlamydia there. Thank you for watching our tutorial video. If you have any questions, feel free to message us here on YouTube and we will respond immediately. Thank you and goodbye.